The discovery includes the largest embalming cache ever found in Egypt. The Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities announced on July 15 that a team of Czech archaeologists, while excavating near the Giza Plateau, discovered a tomb belonging to a powerful Egyptian military commander who lived 2,600 years ago. The tomb's embalming cache, found in 2021, includes more than 370 pottery storage jars containing materials used in the commander's mummification, making it the largest embalming cache ever found in Egypt, a team of Egyptian and Czech researchers said in a statement. The tomb is buried at Abu Sur, also spelled Abu Ar, 7.5 miles, 12 kilometers, from the pyramids of Giza, near the Old Kingdom Cemetery and the Abu Sur archaeological site. Notably, the tomb was located near YBRA Mary Nate's embalming stash, which was discovered four months earlier. The finding of the latter suggested that the commander was buried nearby, so the archaeologists were not shocked to find this burial site where they did. Grave robbers stole Wahibur Marinitha's mummy in antiquity, but archaeologists located remains of his sarcophagus that have hieroglyphs inscribed on them. The glyphs give his identity and quote part of chapter 72 of the Book of the Dead that describes the resurrection of the deceased and his departure to the afterlife, according to the statement. In his role as commander of ancient Egypt's mercenary troops, Wahibur Marineth would have supervised and commanded mercenaries coming from the Aegean Islands in Asia Minor, the statement said. YBRA Mary Nate was buried in a large, square tomb with two levels that were excavated especially to house the revered commander's bones. The main shaft was around 45 feet by 45 feet, 14 meters by 14 meters, in size and was nearly 20 feet, 6 meters, deep. Below it, a smaller shaft, rectangular in shape, 11 feet by 21 feet long, was dug into the bedrock, 6.5 meters by 3.3 meters. At the bottom of this second tunnel, some 52 feet underground, the commander's mummified body was placed, 16 meters. He was interred in a complex double sarcophagus with an inner and an outer part. The inside coffin was fashioned from basalt and sculpted into the shape of a human body, while the exterior sarcophagus was built from two massive slabs of white limestone. The basalt sarcophagus' overall dimensions were 7.5 by 6.5 feet, 2.3 by 1.98 meters. The archaeologists were disappointed to see that this great discovery was defeated by the tomb thieves and the sarcophagus was smashed open and the mummy of YBRA Mary Nate was removed. Based on the finding of two pottery objects left within the tomb that belonged to the 4th or 5th century AD, they determined that tomb robbers had broken in and taken it more than 1,000 years ago. In addition to the absence of a mummy, the area inside the basalt sarcophagus was devoid of grave goods. Only a scarab delicately carved into the shape of a heart and an amulet supposed to be worn on the head was discovered. However, the mission found on the eastern side of the necropolis many intact archaeological relics that were part of the funerary belongings, including 402 Ashabi statues made of faience. Ashabtas, which are little figurines that were placed in ancient Egyptian tombs along with mummies that often had writing from the Book of the Dead, was thought to represent the departed and carry out tasks for them in the hereafter. Image credit, photo courtesy Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities.